कक्षा एगार पढ़ने भाई बहनी को लगी मेरे इस यूट्यूब चैनल ड्रीम्स लर्निंग जोन में स्वागत आज म भाई बहनी को लगी कक्षा एगार को कंपलसरी इंग्लिश को यूनिट टू को फ्री राइटिंग एसे एक्सप्लेन करना गई रखे यूनिट टू में हम टपिक कम्युनिकेसन यूनिट टू को सुरू में सब भाई फर्स्ट में एटा कोटेसन देखे मालकम ग्लाडवेल को रो कोटेसन गुड राइटिंग राइटिंग संग संबंधित कोटेसन हो रहा कोटेसन एक्सप्लेन करूंदा अगड़ी यो मालकम ग्लाडवेल को को हो तो वहाँ को बारे में छोटो जानकारी लिं मालकम ग्लाडवेल चाहिए अंग्रेज इंग्लिश बर्न इंग्लैंड में जन्मे यो हेमसार जन्मे जन्म रनाडा में चाह हुर्क बढ़ का बस का एटी जर्नलिस्ट हु रहा अथर भी हु पब्लिक स्पीकर भी हु वहाँ को जन्म सेप्टेम्बर थ्री नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री में भग रहा को <coughs> कोटेसन इस प्रकार को Good writing does not succeed or fail on the strength of its ability to persuade. It succeeds or fails on the strength of its ability to engage you, to make you think, to give you a glimpse into someone else's head. Is my key one? Now, just one. Good writing does not succeed or fail. Your writing life, I mean, suffer by go, or by your ramro by go, no ramro by go. भर हमी इस इसको पर्सुएसन को जो एबिलिटी होमता हो कन्स करने रिडर्स तो कन्विंसिंग करने पावर में मत इस हम हेन होतेन तेस मत्र राइटिंग राम नराम भन्न सकते यो सक्सिड्स र फेल्स के होने अन द स्ट्रेंथ अफ इट्स एबिलिटी टू इंगेज यू यो रिडर्स कति को इंगेज करा तो राइटिंग कति को काम करा कति को इंगेज करा सोचना कति को लगा टू मेक यू थिंक और टू गिव यू अ ग्लिम्स इन टू सम वन सेल्थ एंड तो अ ग्लिम्स इन टू सम वन हेड बने कति को रिव्यू कर सफल भग राइटर को है उसको भ्यू उसको मेन पूरा कति को बुझ् सफल उसे के भन्न खोजे बुझ्न सकते कि छेन तेज को साथ साथ ही इस इंगेजमेंट कराँच कि कराने रिडर्स तेरी रिडर्स थिंक करना बाध्य बना कि बना यहां कुछ में राइटिंग सफल अथवा असफल भग मान मालकम ग्लाडवेल ने भूक अब हम रिडिंग सेंसन में फ्री राइटिंग भाई टपिक ये फ्री राइटिंग चाहिए एसे पीटर एल्बो भाइटर ने लेखे एसे हो जो चाह फ्री राइटिंग में एकदम कि भाव पायोनियर फ्री राइटिंग को टेक्निक बारे में चाहिए बताने लेखने फ्री राइटिंग संग संबंधित कुछ टिचिंग करने तो राइटर हो पीटर एल्बो वहाँ लेख्भ एस ये हम एक्सप्ट ली दु पेज जी को अब तो पढ़ू भाग अगड़ी हमीसंग यहाँ के बिफोर यू रिड वाले तो पढ़ाई लाई हमें सहयोग होना को लगी तो एसि बुझ्न को लगी है तो जो टपिक हमें पढ़् पर्ने हो तेस को अंडरस्टैंडिंग को लगी हमें यहाँ कई चाहिए क्वेश्चन्स देख हम यूनिट सुरू कर अगड़ी जैसे वाट डू फलोइंग इमेजेस इंडिकेट वट कम्स टू योर माइंड वेन यू सी दम सो So all these uh, four images, they are uh, tools or means of com communication. Yes, so <coughs> they have different ma means of communication. We can communicate our ideas, we can communicate our feelings, uh, experiences, uh, whatever, uh, all kinds of uh, <coughs> things, uh, all kinds of information so that we can. Uh, Send to other, share to other through these medias, these means. The first one is you can see mobile phone, and you can see it's like messaging or like a chat. Okay, uh, <coughs> so you can see uh, there is uh, there is text. It is also a way of uh, communication, communicating to each other with the help of mobile device, mobile phone. And second one is uh, it's like a traditional form of uh, sending message to. Other is uh, like a letter. Okay, it's like letter uh, writing. Um, uh, 
writing by hand on uh, on a sheet of paper and it also communicates uh, some sort of information some sort of message to the reader and third one is you can say a laptop and uh, maybe uh, <coughs> someone is uh, browsing internet so it is internet ha has also become a broad uh, means of communication nowadays so lots of people uh, in the world they use uh, internet yes for uh, getting and sharing information getting knowledge sharing knowledge and uh, you can see a heap of uh, papers uh, i think they are newspapers and they also communicate uh, what <coughs> messages informations uh, events stories uh, lots of things to the reader so all these four pictures are the tools or means of uh, communication so uh, when uh, <coughs> uh, we uh, see these pictures uh, so one thing that comes uh, in our mind is uh, the word communication yes and <coughs> next one uh, next question is what do the follow what do the following questions mean okay so you can see two questions there one is uh, questions or you can uh, sorry quotes okay you can see the two quotes there uh, first quote is uh, if writing is easy you are doing it wrong so lots of uh, many people think that writing is very easy one can do writings easily but it is not as easy as uh, other people thinking other people are thinking so it is very difficult task it needs a uh, lots of practice so uh, lots of practices and lots of uh, <coughs> vocabulary uh, sentence structures lots of knowledges are needed to become a writer so writing is uh, not an easy task uh, <coughs> uh, it's a <coughs> very difficult uh, thing so that we need a uh, lots of practices and, and the, uh, one of them is uh, practicing free writing okay free writing makes you a good writer so uh, in the very beginning of your writing career first you have to do some sort of free writings you have to practice a lot only after uh, doing that after getting a mastery over the <coughs> free writing you can uh, become a good writer so the pain is a tongue of the mind obviously the pain is the tongue of the mind because uh, it's like tongue tongue what do you mean by tongue tongue means uh, it helps us to bring our um, <coughs> words uh, to the audience to the listener okay so what we uh, uh <coughs> talk what we speak our receive uh, readers or um, listener they listen to us but it is only possible because of tongue because it makes sound sound that is uh, <coughs> uh, it pr pronounces uh, pronounce uh, words okay sentences uh, lots of things uh, it produce that is why uh, <coughs> tongue uh, is needed uh, to uh, for communication okay uh, we, without tongue we cannot uh, speak we cannot talk to each other and pen uh, is for writing okay uh, it's uh, uh, like tongue uh, the pen helps to uh, express uh, pen helps to write uh, the thought uh, write the uh, emotions feelings in your mind on the paper and it uh, <coughs> will be easy to read the reader what uh, is inside in your mind so pen is like a tongue okay so both of them they help to uh, what bring out our uh, emotions our feelings our experiences our knowledge to the uh, reader or listener okay now you can see uh, <coughs> an essay i already told you it is taken out from uh, peter elbow's writing uh, it's a short excerpt now uh, we are going to read the uh, essay and uh, the whole essay is about uh, free writing yes what is free writing how could we do it uh, what are the important things that uh, we have to consider uh, while uh, <coughs> freely writing uh, so it uh, says us is teaches us lots of things about free writing especially uh, we, are, we we don't have a, a clear kind of concept about free writing so only after reading this uh, essay you will be able to uh, know about the concept of uh, free writing okay now read the following essay about free writing as 
another way to brain is storm okay so brain is storm what do you mean by brain is storm it means uh, gathering collecting uh, the words needed for your writing and uh, it helps uh, <coughs> to uh, write uh, something uh, fluently okay uh, it, it helps you to become a good writer brainstorming helps you to become a good writing and uh, free writing is also like a brainstorming because uh, you can bring out uh, many uh, many words okay uh, in the free writing process it's a uh, mm, uh, editless writing you are free to write uh, anything on your paper no one uh, is uh, ready to edit you uh, no rules uh, are applied uh, in free writing you can write whatever that comes in your mind okay it's brainstorming a uh, general topic in order to arrive at a specific focus in writing so before you give a good uh, you, you you give a complete writing you first you have to do free writings okay so it's <coughs> uh bringing your general topic okay it helps to bring your general topic <coughs> and uh, and it leads to uh, a specific uh, focus the most effective way i know to improve your writing is to do free writing exercises regularly so what the writer what the SOS says that uh, if you want to become a good writer if you want to uh, uh, start your career in writing first uh, you have to do lots of free writing exercises okay you have to uh, choose a topic and you start uh, you have to start writing uh, whatever that, that come in your mind okay so you have to do lots of free writing exercises at least uh, <coughs> three times a week so if it if, if this is possible you have to do it regularly otherwise if you are, it is not possible you have to do free writings at least three times a week you have to manage your time at least three times a week to uh, do free writings there are sometimes called automatic writing so the <coughs> synonymous uh, word uh, or term for free writing is automatic writing it means uh, it comes uh, <coughs> automatically so uh, what do you uh, think what you uh, want to write you can write okay so automatic writing means there is no uh, and there's any kind of uh, influences from uh, outside other side okay so it comes automatically inside your mind uh, the thought or the emotions the feelings the words that come automatically in your mind and you start writing and that is why it is called automatic writing and it's like babbling or jabbering exercises so what do you mean by babbling or jabbering so babbling means uh, so <coughs> Uh, not clear uh, speaking okay uh, you, you don't know what uh, the speaker is saying or uh, jabbering uh, it's a senseless or meaningless uh, speech uh, you don't understand so it's like uh, <coughs> right free writing is also like that so you, you cannot see uh, <coughs> well organized sentence patterns appropriate selection of words okay uh, appropriate use of uh, punctuation marks you don't see any kind of those things in free writing that is why it's uh, <coughs> like babbling or jabbering uh, exercises the idea is simply to write for 10 minutes so uh, when you start uh, doing free writing exercises first you have to allocate uh, at least uh, 10 minutes and you have to increase the time frame uh, from 10 to 15 or 20 don't disturb for anything so you you must not be disturbed you you must not be overwhelmed uh, by anything you just have to write down go on writing what you uh, can go quickly without rushing go quickly without rushing don't rush but write down fastly write down quickly but you don't have to rush uh, never stop to look back and uh, don't uh, care what you uh, what you wrote uh, previously uh, <coughs> you don't uh, mm, think uh, that you have done some mistakes yes leave it everything you have to leave it just go on writing just express the words that come in your mind on uh, the paper to across something out to wonder how to spell something to wonder what word or thought to use damn care all these things yes don't look back yes don't cross uh, out your <coughs> something out uh, after writing uh, when you think that uh, it, it is a mistake don't think that it is a mistake to wonder how to spell something yes uh, if you are writing uh, incorrect spelling damn care don't care about that write down 
to wonder what word or thought to use or to think about what you are doing so you don't have to think any anything just go on writing just writing focus only on writing and to wonder how to spell something to wonder the word or thought to use or to think about what you are doing if you can't think of a word or spelling just use a squeezel or else writing okay start writing no matter you just have to focus on your writing <coughs> uh, <coughs> i can't i can't think of it uh, for example uh, if you cannot write if you don't know the appropriate terms or appropriate word for the uh, thing uh, for the <coughs> topic that you want to express uh, just uh, if you don't know just uh, write down i can't think of it just put down something yes uh, for a remembrance uh, for your editing process uh, just give some mark some uh, some sign and the easiest thing is just to put down whatever is in your mind so the easiest thing the main thing is that the easiest thing is just put down whatever is in your mind so you have to just write down whatever in your mind on the white sheet of paper that is the free writing if you get stuck it's fine to write i can't think what to say i can't think what to say so so this uh, part of a piece of writing uh, says that uh, it's a <coughs> continuous process uh, it's a long lasting process because uh, <coughs> uh, it makes you uh, a good writer uh, when you do lots of free writing practice pra practices uh, it uh, makes you able to uh, to be uh, able to become a good writer in the future and uh, first uh, first step is you have to do some free writings without any kind of agitation without any kind of bore bore boreness okay as many times as you want or repeat the last word you wrote over and over again or anything else it means uh, you must not be stopped okay you just uh, go on writing whatever that comes in your mind y you must not worry about anything just to go on writing whatever whatever comes in your mind the only requirement is that you never stop okay so what do you mean by this it, uh, a, a writing is uh, a continuous uh, process okay no matter you are uh, you must not be uh, disturbed by anything and you must not uh, think of uh, any kind of uh, mistakes uh, there free writing free writing uh, exercise is important so free writing exercises is important yes and it must be a piece of writing which even if someone re reads it does not send any repulse okay and back to you it means uh, uh, no matter uh, somebody uh, gives you uh, feedbacks or not uh, it does not matter uh, do not think what other people say to you uh, on your writing you just go on writing and never expect uh, feedbacks okay it's like writing something and putting it in a bottle of sea so uh, let, let's see it's like uh, writing something and putting it in a bottle in the sea so it's like garbage okay you, you can throw it away no matter uh, you, you, you must not uh, <coughs> uh, be worried about uh, uh, someone's uh, what uh, feedbacks on it uh, you must not be worried of what other people say about this writing it's just like uh, putting it into a bottle and uh, throwing it in the sea it means it's like uh, garbage uh, you should not be much uh, worried about uh, this the teacher less cla class helps your writing by providing maximum feedback and even you don't expect any kind of uh, feedbacks from your teacher yes you must not be worried about your teacher while uh, doing some free writing exercises Free writing helps you by providing no feedbacks at all so you must remember this no feedbacks are needed okay are required for free writing okay <coughs> it's not down for uh, feedbacks okay when i assign one i invite the writer to let me read it but also tell him to keep it if he prefers i read it quickly and make no comments at all i do not speak with him about it the main thing is that free writing free writing must never be evaluated in any way in fact there must uh, be no discussion no comment remember these things there is no evaluation yes 
no one is going to say you are poor in writing or uh, no one is uh, going to make a discussion about your writing yes there is not a controversy there is not a big deal about your writing because you are doing free writing it's free comment and no one is going to give you a comment okay here is an example of a fairly coherent uh, fairly coherent okay so coherent it, it means uh, there should be <coughs> uh, uh, order of uh, sentence or word order there must be order the, it, it must be logical logical or uh, it must be consistent c o n s i s t e n t consistent but it is not applied here there is uh, if there is no coherence no matter <coughs> exercise sometimes they are very incoherent uh, which is fine okay let's see an example of free writing here so <coughs> yes i think i will write what's on mind but uh, let's see the language let's see the words let's see the uh, writing styles okay uh, you are not what <coughs> uh, requested to uh, give uh, a comment or uh, give any kind of uh, suggestions or feedbacks in such type of writing okay no discussion no issue is created uh, regarding this type of writing that is why it's free uh, let's see an example this is an example of free writing i think uh, from he has given uh, an example of free writing to make us clear about it i think i will write what's on mind okay what's on my mind but uh, the only thing on my mind right now is what uh, is what to write okay just think what to write do not think what other people will say what other people uh, say about your writing don't care about this thing but find the content for your 10 minutes writing okay think what you are what you want to write i never done this before and i'm not prepared in any way you are doing it first time because you are beginning your free writing exercises so and i'm not prepared in any way you are not prepared and you don't have any idea about uh, writing you are just doing writing exercises by doing free writing so uh, you are free you are free no one is going to say anything to you now let's see the sky is cloudy and today how is that now i'm afraid i won't be able to think of what to write then i get to the end of the sentence well here i am at the end of the sentence here i am again again let's see repetition of the same word if you uh, don't know what to write uh, instant uh, uh, in your mind uh, any word uh, <coughs> um, comes okay uh, you have to write okay uh, at least i'm still writing but think that is still writing so writing is continuously going on but uh, don't care about other things now i ask uh, there's some reason to be happy i'm still writing yes still writing now you are mm, doing writings you are able to write no matter you are writing wrong right or wrong you're just writing ah yeah uh, here comes the question again what i am getting out of this what point is there in it I, it's almost uh, of sense of sense to always ask it but i seem to question everything that way and i was gonna say something else pertaining pertaining to that but i got so busy writing down first uh, part of that i forgot what i was leading to this uh, this is a kind of fun uh, oh don't stop writing cars trucks speeding by somewhere uh, out of the window pens glittering across the people's paper the sky is still cloudy is it symbolic uh, that i should be mentioning uh, uh, it huh i don't know uh, maybe i should try to call colors blue red dirty words wait a minute i can't do that orange yellow i'm tired green pink violet magenta lavender red brown black green now that i can't think of any more colors just about done relief maybe so it's a 10 minutes writing okay it's the first uh, attempt of your writing practice <coughs> uh, this is an example of free writing you can also uh, write down such type of writings okay free writing may seem crazy crazy yes when you uh, look this writing it looks like crazy crazy work no sense okay we cannot find anything clear anything coherent logical so anyway it's good because you wrote 
Uh, actually, it makes simple sense. Think of what is simple sense. Think of difference between speaking and writing. Writing has the advantage of permitting more editing, but that is its downfall too. So, <coughs> while doing writing, we think of editing. We try to improve. We try to write down better, and we stop. Yes, um, and that stoppage uh, <coughs> blocks your writing. Uh, almost every time interposes a massive and a complicated series of editing between the time words that start to be born into consciousness and when they finally come off in the uh, the end of the pencil or typewriter onto the page this is partly because schooling make us obsessed with the mistakes yes so in school especially we uh, are obsessed with uh, mistakes yes that is why the mistakes uh, the fear of mistakes okay that uh, <coughs> uh, makes us uh, inable inable of uh, what writing we make uh, in writing many people are constantly thinking about spelling yeah so while writing we think of grammar we think of spelling that is why we cannot continue uh, uh, writing okay and they try to write i'm always thinking about awkwardness or wordiness and general uh, mustiness of my natural power product and i try to write down words okay so what is here so we must not be uh, worried about uh, editing yes it's just uh, uh, no matter you are writing lots of mistakes you are spelling mistakes grammar mistakes yes mistakes of uh, ordering of the sentences coherent okay no care do, do not care all these things just go on writing but it is not just mistakes or bad writings uh, as we edit as we write we also edit unacceptable thoughts and feelings as we do in speaking in writing